So this is a cutaneous horn. Cutaneous horn. Mm-hmm. So you said it's been growing for a few months he's had it? Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't seem to be irritating him. No, mm -hmm. no pain, itching, anything like that? No. Mm -mm. Okay. See what's going on here, buddy. My tissue nipper first, because I know the blade's not going to go through this. Mm. It's too hard for that. So far, it's not reacting, so we don't have to give him a shot. A shot? Yeah, I don't have to do that. Oh, okay, okay. I was to say, we, I might have to hold him down. <laughs> <laughs> of it but I gotta shave down the rest oh, okay. okay so mm -hmm. wow so it was just something hard that needed to be removed off of that yeah and it was, it was what you call it uh, cutaneous, horn. cutaneous horn cutaneous horn cutaneous horn cute yeah see you oh see you cutaneous horn mm -hmm. it's got a little bit more here in the base before I bring the Blade in. You definitely gonna get some McDonald's. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Got away from me. It didn't get you, did I? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that thing was like a rock. <laughs> so, what you do? You gonna take that to the lab? And yeah, the lab we'll send it to the lab. They'll look at it and they'll say, probably say it's just skin. Okay. So, they probably won't say nothing cancerous. No, yeah, like exactly. A cutaneous horn is an overgrowth of keratin in the outer layer of skin called the epidermis. Keratin is a protein that is a major component of the outer layer of skin, hair, and nails. We get concerned when we see these lesions because they can be associated with skin cancer. Go to Google to see the various areas of the body where these things can occur. So the trick on these when we see, is to keep them from growing back. Mm -hmm. And the hard part about Keep it from going back. It's trying to figure out why it grew in the first place. Right. That's why you're going to do uh, uh, maybe a test on it? Yeah, the lab's going to just confirm what it is. Mm -hmm. And then we know how to prevent or exactly. treat. Exactly. Yeah. It probably was something that, you know, was growing and then, you know, maybe a, a lotion or something needed to be applied to keep it soften or yeah, something. Yeah, perhaps. So, compared to where it is now, when you first noticed it, how big was it? Oh, it was big. That was big. When I, well, no, when I first knew, you know how, I, you know, like your skin here, and it's mm -hmm. like, a, like a little lump or something? Yeah. Compared to where it grew from, I was wondering what the heck was growing on him like that. And if that's something that happened, because I've been with him for almost, well, about, I've been with him about 10 years, and okay. I've never seen it before. There's been no trauma to the foot, right? No. Well, you know, he had, uh, I think his femur was broke or something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Through an accident, that's how I came about when I first started working with him. He had just got out of re a rehab spot, you know, okay. from an accident. Gotcha. Sometimes when we see these, we got to make sure, you know, it wasn't, didn't start out as a shoe problem or right. when he had his femur, when his femur was broken, how was it treated? Do you know? Um, I, well, all I know is he was in a hospital. Mm -hmm. I think they had some type of therapy in there or something like that. We had a doctor that would come to the house, mm -hmm. a nurse, or, you know, to give him some, you know, some treatment. Mm -hmm. And, um. That was it. So I don't know if that was the case or not. But maybe it's also the how he, you know, by him being so contracted mm -hmm. and, you know, because he has cerebral palsy. 
And so I don't know if that played a part in the growth. You know, in some every you they end up with different elements right. all all the time throughout their lives. So I don't know if that's a hygiene thing or no, what. I don't think it's hygiene. It's not about it's not a cleanliness issue. Okay. Now, do you know if he had surgery on, on his leg when I he had think, when I he think, had it fixed? I think that he had some type of surgery. Okay. Because he had, like I said, he had a broken femur. You know how the femur was broken? Well, I, I know that he um, he was prevented from going across the street because you know he was he could have got in a car accident. Okay. And so a family mm-hmm. member, I believe, um, tried to pull him back. Okay. Try to pull him back. Keep him from going out in the street. Yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. I think okay. we're done for the day. It looks much better. So what we do is we look for anything that might be trying to come back to get an appointment. But she's gonna be very pleased with that. Again, it's a, it's one thing to, to shave it down. Mm-hmm. It's another thing. It's another thing to keep it from coming back. Right. So probably probably need to keep your eye on that. Yeah. And, um, I'm going to recommend a cream called urea. Mm-hmm. I'm U-R-E-A. Gonna I'm gonna, it's gonna, all going to be in the paperwork. Oh, okay, okay. It, it's, it's not prescription, so she'll have to buy it, uh-huh. the sister, uh-huh. and put it on here every day. Okay. So it's like a cream? Yeah, or it's a cream, definitely. See if it helps to keep it from regrowing. Is that saying? Is mm-hmm. that why you move in your feet? Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's not a sore or anything like that. So it's not going to sting. Oh, okay. Right. Maybe, maybe a sensation that he Yeah. Feels. I mean, because it's alcohol, so yeah. it's cold. Mm-hmm. And people think because it's cold, it's stinging, but it's just cold. Mm-hmm. All right, buddy. Very good. So I can put the socks back on? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So if you notice any changes of your skin or any lesions, whether they be flat or raised, light or dark, Go get them checked out by a doctor as soon as possible. It may be nothing, but it may be something of concern. So do not hesitate to go get it checked out. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when another great video has been posted. But most importantly, take care of your feet.